Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to our very special Masters edition of the Rubber Boots podcast. It's Jimmy. Right now, I've, I've left the masses to go to another room because I felt like an introduction was warranted after the uh, embarrassment and humiliation of the last couple of years on this podcast. The Masters Pod brought to you by BetSafe.net is a highly anticipated podcast and yet uh, also highly controversial, particularly in the offices of TSN. So uh, this is one of those things. What do they call the parental warnings, you know, things that they put on on albums or the uh, viewer discretion is advised, listener discretion is advised. They put on, on podcasts or television shows. Consider this that. Pray for me. Pray for me. Rubber Boots. 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 Rubber Thank you for joining us. We'll sure to have no regret. Even we can't believe we're not canceled yet. We're gonna tell some stories. Tell some stories. We're gonna have a good time. You know for sure. We're gonna have a laugh. <laughs> this is the podcast. <laughs> this is the podcast. One hundred percent free. This is the podcast. <laughs> this is the podcast. <laughs> Puffy. You have Skittles in your champagne? Puffy. He has. Don't go to magic. Are you triple fisting right now? Double fisting, no, but don't do it. there's three elements to it. <laughs> One would be? Champagne Tuesday. Yes. And uh, Yingling. Yingling Daily. And then the bottle is Champagne Tuesday. It's Champagne Tuesday, Yingling Daily. Yeah. Or hourly, actually. For how many hours now? That's the Cobra. For everyone who hasn't met the Cobra. Dave Parker make, making his debut performance on the master spot. Hey, Pop, I need your help on the... Here we go. Do you have Skittles in that champagne? To open up this edition of the Masters Rubber Boots podcast, brought to you not only by BetSafe.net, by our friends at TaylorMade. We'll get into that a little bit later. Nick from TaylorMade, we love you. To open up... The special 2022 edition. <laughs> Puffy and our guest Mark Ward from Newfoundland. You may remember him from the Cabot editions of the pod. Have a special song that they've written and are ready to perform. You ready, Puff? Let's do it from the top. <laughs> Lester used to work on the pod. Healthy runs and strength. Can get a gig at the Rex. No sex. Stop for the morning show. His car kept breaking down, so Carlos said he had to go. No more blow. He said we gotta get rid of Lester and stuff. It doesn't really matter if they're here or not. Got Bump and Puff, and that's a lot for pods. Let's all have a shot. Oh, we're halfway smashed. Oh, Doug's oh, oh. not wearing pants. Take your hand and get it off my ass. Oh, we're done with the podcast. <laughs> Jimmy's got a six inch. Hey, hey, whoa. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, Mark Ward and Puffy. Yes. Uh, with background Support vocals uh, from Bob Weeks and Bump. Welcome back to the podcast. Yes, finally, I'm back. And that song was called, uh, what was that called? That was called uh, Done with the Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Done with the Podcast. Uh, these two spent most of uh, Masters Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday, Monday, and Sunday. Thank you, weather delay. Writing this song. Uh, if, can, brilliant lyrics. Can you, uh, I don't know how to work this laptop. Can you actually make it go up so I can see, just in case people couldn't hear 
uh, with our fine recording system, which is my uh, my iPads. Uh, Mark the Mark and Puffy's <laughs> lyrics were: Lester used to work on the pod. Elton Ron's on strike. Can't get a gig at the Rex. That no is, sex. That's where uh, Le- Lester would play a lot of his music. Right. Oh, you, you're going to explain all the lyrics? It'll be good. Uh, Stoff worked the morning show. He used to do that. His cock kept breaking down, so Carlos said he had to go. That's Cole Iacobo. No more blow. <laughs> well, uh, they apparently had a cocaine problem. Does Stoff's car still break down? Like, that's been like four years now. It's a running joke, but we like it. Okay. They say we gotta get rid of Lester and Stoff. That's self-explanatory. <laughs> Doesn't really matter the if they're demanded. here or not. A little dark. Got bump and puff. Yes. Everyone loves that. <laughs> and that's a lot for pods. That's Let's all have a Whoa. shot. Let's all have a shot. shot. That's yeah. lyrical genius. It is. It's pretty good. You're Thank like you. a lyrical wizard. That is, that is Bruce right, Springsteen right? has lined us up for the next album. Oh, oh, we're halfway smashed. Mashed. Oh, oh. oh. Duffy's, Duffy's not, not wearing, wearing pants. pants. Which is true. <laughs> Take your hand and get it off my ass. We'll beep that oh, out. Oh, oh, because you're done, done with, with the, the podcast. podcast. Whoa. That's, that's and deep. Then and then we verse two was... Jimmy, it's kind of, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> We're not going further than that. Uh, that was a tribute, guys. Um, Sirius Lester, will, you maybe apologize. You do, I will you're quite will, famous for I, your master's apology. I, I do owe an apology to both uh, Stoff and Lester right. for the Why? Uh, darkness that I brought to the podcast with <laughs> well, uh, hateful well, well, lyrics well, of... Uh, and the Queen. Uh, and the, well, the Queen stopped. haven't done anything. She was no, going to be one of the lyrics, but I, uh, she's done fine. She's still kicking. Uh, and might I add again for the, I think, second or third time we're doing this podcast in front of a large family photo of the, we believe he is a minister, correct? Well, I'm not sure, but they have an oh, updated, a doctor. They have an updated doctor. photo doctor. over there. They are. Uh, Did you see the, the uh, grandpa's got like 45 grandkids over there? Yeah, he's a, it's yeah. a large family. They, they have seven children. I think they have eight now. They have eight now. Eight now. Yeah. And I might say that uh, I previously, usually at the at the Masters, I get the master bedroom. Yes. But this year, I after missing last year, Graham Dillette. He took the master. Right. Deservedly so. And then, can I use this chair? Yes, of course yes, you can. Perfect. Perfect. That's yeah. great. Guilted me into doing it. Sit down, Bob Weeks. Uh, so, the old days, when I used to be called Run. Burping. We're trying to keep this under control. Last year was an absolute and utter disaster when Jimmy was forced to be home, and we did this on Zoom. Yeah, I apologize for that one. <laughs> that, that was maybe myself. We, at the time... No, uh, Bump was actually worse, I think. We got the vaccine, and we were pretty excited. Pateur, pateur. Pateur. It's like he's got his own language. <laughs> um... So yeah, we've uh, we've we have a lot of people in in the house at yes. the Masters as per usual. We'll try to introduce everybody a little bit later on, but we've tried to go to a quiet room. We've also been become quite known for terrible audio on this podcast, <laughs> which we're rectifying. Yes, with new uh, mics, new microphones, and a whole new audio system that Stoff has prepared for us when we get back. Are we back. using that this week or no? I uh, know we're just recording <laughs> on my iPad. <laughs> Uh, Bob Weeks is here, uh, the voice of uh, golf on TSN. Proud to have you back on the podcast, Bobby. How are you? Great to be here. Thanks. No, that's Bob. <laughs> <laughs> that's Bob. Yes, lovely, lovely, lovely to be here. Uh, Bob, we're going to have a. We thought we'd continue. There's been a lot of music. Mark Ward's, uh, as everyone knows, or if you just started listening to the podcast this year, Mark Ward is my childhood best friend from Ottawa. He now lives in Newfoundland. Once in a while, he drops by the pod, and he's uh, come to the Masters this year to be a uh, production aide. Yes, but also musical genius. Yes. In house music. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think Keep I've got grip. more appearances than Alec Baldwin does on SNL. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and I should be getting paid a little bit more. He should pay you at least. <laughs> not, not with jokes like that. <laughs> That's a great point. That's a great point. Nothing's funnier in 2022 than Alec Baldwin. <laughs> That's why we got along so well with our dated references. <laughs> Wardy, Woody will pull out a where's the beef before this podcast is 15 minutes over. Uh, we're going to have a talent show. Do we have uh, so because there's a, lot of, there's a lot of guitar players in the house, we didn't realize it because Mark... I think pandemic has really brought a lot of people's yeah. guitar games up. Because when yeah, Mark yeah, was yeah. here a couple years ago, he could play the guitar, 
Right. But now he's sensational. He's a professional. Yeah, he does yeah, gigs. He does, does gigs in Newfoundland. Yeah, yeah. International recording artist yeah. now. But yes. Bob Weeks, uh, who now... Ha- why, why don't we just start the he talent contest the now? Queen. Yes. He so, played for the Queen. Bob Weeks <laughs> played for the Queen. Voice of an angel. Sang for it. Voice I mean, of an angel. Voice right. of an angel. Just I think like, that... Is that what brought up the Queen in the first place? Was yeah. Bob yeah. talked about yeah. playing for the Queen yeah. and then you started slandering the Queen? One yes. time. Right. One time and it makes me a bad guy. Bob Weeks is like a young Homer Simpson. Yes. Voice what? of an angel. We All right. Have no Here, here's our first contestant, Bob Weeks. Okay. She was just 17, and you know what I mean. And the way she looked was way beyond control. That made me feel. <laughs> Did you get that? I got it. I got it. Okay. Excellent, All right. Bob. All right. Excellent really work. Good. That I was. Think uh, you're a bona fide rock star. I <laughs> was Bob Weeks of. Where are you from? Montreal. Really? Montreal. Really? Yeah. really? Bob Weeks from Montreal. Yeah. I would have thought of Tobacco. Educated in Windsor. Right. Uh, Vardy, are you going to perform up. anything for us? Yes, what do you want to play? Next. Assume the position. Mr. Mr. Bossy. Bossy. Just so you know. Yeah. Mark, play Bob your favorite Weeks. song. You can be the second oh, contestant. Yes. Oh, Hang this on. Is, uh, okay, no. <laughs> I was transformed. <laughs> okay, you already did your... Oh, oh, I did that already? You did your judge gotcha. thing. Gotcha. Okay. Jim, go ahead. Why don't Go I ahead, play Mark. a song for you okay. that you can sing? Okay. All right. Oh. So do you want to do? Uh, yeah, do you want to do? On the pod. Yeah. Do you want to do a hip, what, a hip song? Do you want to do uh, New Orleans? Or sure, but it's, we only like it's thirty seconds because the listeners don't want to hear. No, I want to do the ten minute dance version. <laughs> Let's well, do stairway. What song do you play well that I do? Do you know all too well the Taylor Swift? <laughs> yes, I am good at that. Can we I'm do very Paradise by but the But you still got life. that scarf <laughs> from the very first week. Because it reminds you of innocence. And it like smells that. like me. You we can't get more. rid of it. We need more Because you remember it. Yeah, oh, champagne, too Tuesday. Well. champagne Tuesday. Champagne <laughs> Tuesday. I think I'm done. I did. Uh, that was me. I was doing was all, all too well. So you can Your do your own now. What do you want to do, Pup? Puppy, what song? what song would you like to do? I really don't have much talent. <laughs> don't yeah. say that. Don't sell yourself short. True. Canada's got no talent right here. <laughs> Except we played the Masters together. Why don't you improvise a song about our, our week at the Masters? Yeah. Pop, just give him a just give him a couple of chords. Oh, okay. no way just guesses. give me a beat. <laughs> there we go. Let's just talk about all the stuff that's happened this week. <laughs> come in a little later. Okay. You should have came in right there. Yeah. Do you want me to come in? <laughs> Sundown in the city of Augusta. <laughs> okay, are you gonna come in? I'm trying to think of lyrics, man. We think they just write music like that. Yeah. That's what rappers do. It. Okay, you're all started for you. Okay. We went to the Canada night and ate some steaks. Good. Always oh, good. Good. Then we stole a two four of Stella cakes. <laughs> <laughs> that rhymes. So that works. It did work. Maybe this is his number. <laughs> Keep going. Puffy opened up the champagne cork. Yeah. Took a, put a dent in the ceiling. Like a dork. Like a dork. <laughs> but we're drinking champagne and that's nothing new. <laughs> because this is something that we always do. Yeah, it's <laughs> true. A good champagne to that was my song. <laughs> okay, Bobby. I thought you were great. And you know what? That hit me right here. <laughs> Again. You got a lot of bruises right so emotional. There. It was a very well done song. In, the, in Bump's song, he was alluding to the Golf Canada barbecue. Yes. Which our buddy Lawrence from Golf Canada is always kind enough to invite us they to. Every very year. generous. Mac Hughes was there. Corey Connors. Uh, Corey Connors was there with his new baby. Yep. And we they serve a steak every year. Uh, Alan Mc, my friend Alan McDonald from Goodwood Golf Club, a fine golf club, was also Just there. So is that know. one of the great golf clubs in Canada? It is right up there with the Coppinwood. Yeah, Coppinwood. Coppinwood. <laughs> Where I am an ambassador. I've no, never Goodwood played is, there. Goodwood is fantastic. Um, 
What was I saying? So, no, but Lawrence yes. has the best emoji name. What is that? Apple Bomb. Oh, so he can put the, uh, oh, the yeah. apple emoji and then, and then a... Nice. Apple then, oh. yeah. Bomb. Hmm. Anyway, so... Uh, I think my name, Sean Eggplant, is a little bit better. That's true. But if your name's Cameron. No, it's Eggplant. <laughs> That's what I it's use for my emoji. But why? Get it, point. That's what an eggplant emoji stands for. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not? Like, seriously, are you on the web? <laughs> not really. Someone's not on Bumble. <laughs> so we were at the Golf Canada barbecue, yes. enjoying our steak and yeah. pass a salad, and, yeah, cook, and really talking cool. to friends, new Lovely friends. People. We Lovely met the people. head of the RNA, RNA in, chairman. In, Scotland? Where are we? Yeah. England? Where England. England. Yeah, you Scotland did drop Scotland. 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 Yeah. So Scotland. Scotland? Is RNA Scotland? Yeah. You should know that you're Scottish. There was a lot of fancy the people at this barbecue. We were the, nos- the least fancy people. But and they it, were very comfortable with fist bumps. In the middle of the barbecue, I remembered that I was supposed to be... The Canadian Screen Awards were tonight. You guys were nice enough on an early episode to congratulate my, my nomination. Yes. And I forgot it was virtual. And you were supposed to be dressed up and in like a virtual room. You were wearing track pants. So I logged on to the Zoom like a minute before, and there was Andy uh, looking beautiful, Scott Russell looking uh, nice beautiful. in a dashing, suit, dashing, dashing. And uh, right, I did. I, we have to, we talked in the past about how we think Scott Russell is the most handsome person on Canadian television. Uh, we want to congratulate Andy Petrillo, Andy, who we love dearly. We do love. She's and, the best, uh, and she fully deserving, deserving of that award. And I would not have been even if I would have won, which I wouldn't have, be against the. Ivanka Osmak, also, by the way, a fine uh, commentator she nominated for that award. Nominated. Um, it would have not have been fitting to me to be in the backyard at a barbecue yes. with a beer in my I'm hands. I'm happy yes. you did not win. It would have been inappropriate. Been, I'm not happy been. you did not win. I was a little worried that, I was a little worried that you, you were why. going to win when they were frantically trying to get a hold of you before <laughs> the <laughs> ceremony. It wasn't I, I was thinking like, oh, okay. they know who's going to win this and... Jimmy ain't prepared. He's not even wearing pants. Yeah. <laughs> and the best is, As though, you song. didn't take it to the corner of the backyard to make yeah. it look more <laughs> a little classier. <laughs> a little classier. <laughs> you weren't eating your steak at the time of the award. You could have sold it like you were at a, a watch party. Oh, a watch party for the Canadian for, yeah, Speed Awards? Canadian yeah. Speed Awards. Yeah. And you were there, just like the draft. All the families there, we're all like... There's a lot. Oh, Jimmy. How many watch parties do you think there are for the Canadians? <laughs> we were planning on dousing you in beer and champagne oh, yeah, we if you won. So well, then you were it's sad. probably a good thing so, you didn't win. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, we should probably do an actual segment for the podcast. That'd be fun. so. Why don't we do? Uh, we're doing the town thing. That was the, uh, the week that was. We'll get back to that. Week, week that was. I like the week that was. Discuss the week that was with James Duffy and the Rubber Boots Podcast Crew. Except for last year and stuff. Uh, you know what? We should uh, introduce everybody yeah, here really quickly. Uh, you know Puffy. Bump is back on the pod. We introduced Mr. Mark Ward Noodle. from Newfoundland. We introduced Bob Weeks. Uh, Ryan Vardy is one of our fine uh, camera operators. Yes. He Who's comes from the city of sure. Calgary. Yeah. And uh, Vardy also playing guitar today. He's uh, working on a little song. I just want to say hi, Vardy. You've been on, Vardy has been on the pod. I, I, I was on the, the one that had a lot of beeps on it. Oh, <laughs> uh, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself, Ryan? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Um, so now Jane Rado will tell you everything you need to know about me. Cobra, Cobra. Yeah, is our great, is making. Uh, he is a masters uh, rookie and masters pod rookie. We and you guys know why we call him Cobra because his name's Dave Parker and Dave Parker's nickname was Cobra. For anybody who follows seventies eighties baseball, right? Exactly. Uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. Cobra, welcome. Uh, Cobra usually. Cobra usually works with Ryan Rashog of the what's that? What's his podcast called? Ryan Rashog podcast. Get, get on your no, the does he have one? I, got your I didn't know. I got your back podcast. I'm a, I'm a I'm a special this, contributor. Is it really called Got Your Back? Got it's Your Back. Got Your Back. Got right. your back. I, can, I thought that was Shogger. So it's a Drager's podcast. So needed. It's also known as the So Needed This podcast. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Ryan. Ryan is in uh, Mexico with his lovely wife, Randine. Randy and Dino. And uh, Dino? Is that her nickname? <laughs> it's probably not for me to say, oh, actually. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Ryan, Ryan Is Post- her nickname really Dino? <laughs> well, her name's Randine. It's not like it's a stretch. Oh, I thought it was Randy. Oh, Randine. 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 Dino. Dino. So, uh... <laughs> Ryan and Dino are in uh, Cancun. Are in Cancun, Mexico, yes. and uh, 
Ryan posted a uh, a photo. Capital of the Latin America. He, Ryan posted a photograph of himself in Mexico Thank with you. the uh, with the unfortunate caption. So needed this. <laughs> and so we've been sending him nonstop photos all week of ourselves. Inappropriate. In a, inappropriate photos, photos sorry, saying, sorry, so sorry, needed this. I just wanted to know quickly, uh, Cobra, uh, did Ryan annoy you with his uh, planning of the podcast and pre-production as much as he annoyed me and pretty much everybody else he knows? Yes. <laughs> well, it was, it was bigger than it. Yeah, no, it was it yes. was a big deal. Yeah, it was. It, well, I don't want to say annoying, but it, I'm glad he was. No, say it, say it, say it, annoying. He was excited about. He it. basically he really planned it more it. than George Lucas planned, like the nine Star Wars films. Yeah, there was a lot of pre-production. That's yeah. fair. No, we uh, we love Ryan, and we love uh, what's it called again? Got your back. Got my I'm, back. I'm a contributor no, for got that. Got your back. Yes. I'm a contributor. So yes. after you listen to the Rubber Boots podcast, listen to Got Your Back with Ryan Rashog, uh, Jason Strudwick. Yes. Uh, Darren Drager and yourself, James. And I make a cameo appearance once in a while. Um, is anybody else up in the house? No. No. Get away from these guys for a second to give to give you all a break. I was mentioning we uh, we rent the same house at Augusta National every year. It belongs to a wonderful man who's apparently a doctor who has, I believe, as I count in this photograph, eight children, and we all sleep in their rooms, which is really weird. So I, I sleep in the room every year of like this eight-year-old kid, and all his little little tiny clothes are in the drawers. And I have to push aside his tiny clothes to put my own my own clothes in there. And he's got like you know like toys on the wall and such. So I think everybody else has gone to bed. The lovely Nicole, who's our Mr. Wolf for the fixer, she just arrived from Doha, uh, where she was at the World Cup draw doing a fantastic job. Nicole's gone to bed. Lanny, our technical wizard has also gone to bed. And Graham Dillette, we hope, will join us a little bit later on in the podcast, but he stiffed us tonight and went to some bar. Dillette, right? He went to some pub or something, didn't he? Yeah, he's a live podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, an actual podcast? Real, yeah, a real one. <laughs> with, with, no, it wasn't with a listeners. podcast. It was a, an actual live performance at Savannah, with a podcast. At Savannah Brewery. Oh, okay. a podcast, though, right? Cold but, and, Yeah, he was doing the podcast, too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ryan, uh, Graham, excuse me, had the uh, probably the line, the only usable line from our podcast last year when he, he came on Zoom with us and said, after listening to us for five minutes, people listen to this? Yes, he did say that. <laughs> um, so uh, the week that was, uh, let's see, last week we did the World Cup draw. Yes. Yes, on TSN, that was a big deal. We're getting ready for the World Cup in Doha. Mm -hmm. um, Who's your favorite player? Christian Ronald. Yeah, Christian Ronald, that's what mine too. Is Kaka still playing? Kaka. Leon Masai? No, Lionel Messier. Lionel Messier. <laughs> He's moose. my favorite. The moose, Lionel yeah. Messier. Yeah. yeah. The moose. He does it all. Uh, so we flew here on Saturday. Yeah. We uh, had a, a couple of delays, mostly because Cobra and uh, Vardy Party took four hours to get our rental cars. Oh, my God. Of. Also, uh, go to National for all your car rental needs. I also, I want to say, like, Georgia time. I don't like to brag on myself. You guys know that. Please <laughs> 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 the fifth. <laughs> Jim, would Jim Nance have waited? No with chance. With the crew no for no three chance. hours at the airport you for the rental car? Yeah, listen, every every the crew guy. I'm really emotional. Guy. This pod. <laughs> this guy is a saint. Okay, he is with us every step. It's true. <laughs> For the Bob Costas of Canada, he's very good. You know what's a shame? This is our first non-video pod of the year. Yes. And I got to give Bob credit. Like, he is putting on a performance that maybe won't come through in audio, but visually is stunning. Visually. And he's looking good. He's looking it comes really. through in the audio because I am feeling everything. <laughs> But they can hear you Oscar. when you say you're winning the Oscar for your fake what? excuse. That's still recording. <laughs> so uh, we spent the night in Atlanta. Uh, we had a great night. We watched the NCAA, semis, semi NCAA, some money with a lot of. I was watching women's we had four hours. I forgot to do my GBL picks, so. though. Yeah. Oh yes, the GBL we will get to later. Yes. Uh, the Gold Bar League. We have yeah. some updates. It was a stunning week all around. I think yeah. in the results, so yes. we'll update you that Big until week. I forget. And then Stoff will have to do it himself. Yeah, Stoff, good job. Uh, we drove to Augusta National. Uh, we got to our house. Uh, yeah. We, it's been a very exciting couple of days because, obviously, of the news that Tiger Mark Avenue. Ward is here. We, <laughs> we have a new location on site. Oh, yes. So, uh, 
when you hear this on Thursday, did we miss a good Parker joke there? Did I? No, it was. Okay. No, I was yeah. um, so, but he gave it a chance. This, <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, probably stuff that doesn't matter to you at home, but for the last twenty years here at the Masters, we've been on a set on the on par the three. par three course, which is right behind. Uh, the main course at Augusta National. Oh, which is a great location. Sorry? 20 years. More than 20 years? No. 70 years. 20 years. We were on stools sitting on the par 3 course for a few years. Correct. So we didn't even have a set. Yeah. But and that but that was the Corey Warren era. <laughs> <laughs> we got a set I thought after we said a whole damn. After. He did. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Oh, Air quotes, air quotes. <laughs> no, we love we love C Dubs, but yeah. C Dubs did it for a lot of years, Rod, yeah. and then we got us Rod Black did it before that, and uh, Blackie I, might be the best host we've had. <laughs> <laughs> a present company, ex, ain't no, it's ex excluded, not even ex- excluded. Excluded. <laughs> 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 he, he was struggling with excluded. some words there. Ex- no, Black. Why, why do you have to <laughs> <laughs> come down on this man? Rod Black so and the National Treasure. Sport and our production is disgusting. Blackie did an awesome job. He did. C Dubs did an awesome I job. I one for best supporting actor for that one. <laughs> it was okay. I, was I snuck in and uh, we've You've had. You've done a, a bang up job. I'm not looking for a compliment. I'm just trying no, to tell a story. Rod really brought it home in <laughs> 2003 when Mike Weir won the match. He did. You're he right. He good. did. Back to Sports Center. So. Oh, okay. we, anyway, we were on the par three course. This year we've moved over to uh, the, the driving range, which probably to you at home doesn't sound like a big deal. But to us it is. We have Golf Channel on one side of us, ESPN on the other side. ESPN and the mighty TSN it's, it's in the, the middle. Three heavy hitters of golf right now, side by side by in side. In the world, playing center. In the world, yeah. in the world. Well, and closer to the egg salad no, sandwich is still. True, mm-hmm. we're also close Yeah, to we're those. just a short yes. walk away from the beautiful media compound yeah, where yeah. you have the egg salad, the pimento sandwiches, the barbecue but chicken sandwiches. Like, but when I was on the range today watching Tiger Chip, I thought for a second he was just going to break away and, and head to the set and talk to, to you. To talk to us, yeah. I thought for a second there. Well, but he st- just, you remember my encounter with him in the washroom in Augusta in 2002. So. And you said... Edit point. No, that's not what happened. <laughs> oh, you didn't? I thought that was the story. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to go back. <laughs> that's not what happened. <laughs> oh, I thought that's what happened. Could you guys <laughs> please give Stoff a break and don't make him have to beep out Everything. Think of our poor stuff, okay? I haven't f- done anything <laughs> to make him f- beep anything out. I've been pouring my heart <laughs> into this. I will give him credit. He is really diving deep into this character. <laughs> He's pushing it, you know? <laughs> He's holding on. It's volume. It's volume. It's volume. You just keep pushing the comedy and eventually it gets... You know what the first rule of comedy is? Yeah. Timing. <laughs> yeah, but you, you were supposed to say it while I was Yeah Well, I was saying what You stopped short on me, okay? <laughs> so the joke short. didn't really work Because <laughs> you just answered the question Just stop, cut that out <laughs> I thought stop was off the pod Yeah, we, we butted <laughs> He's off the pod? Stop here How is this getting there? So we can uh, yeah, actually see the players chipping right behind yeah, us it's, See it's, the players warm, warming up it's right. I don't know like I said I don't know that it really matters everybody just wants to see the coverage which they will see uh, uh, we're excited because the Tiger story is, is loon- it's crazy like yeah. we were all here in 2019 and that was I, it was just the back surgery bump that he was off yes. of yeah. and it still was incredible that he won and right. if he somehow and it still seems a little Far fetched is contending on Sunday. Like it was 13 and a half months ago, the guy was in what looked like just a horrendous mm-hmm. crash that we wondered for a while if he would live. Then we wondered if he would keep his leg, and now he's going to play at Augusta and he looks actually awesome. Puffy was watching him on the range today, and Puffy, your verdict? He's going to win on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have money to spend, Bet on Tiger, because it's happening. <laughs> uh, Puffy, by the way, uh, was also the one in 2019 who uh, uh, lost all shreds of his journalistic and broadcasting integrity when Tiger walked past him from the green at 9 to the tee at 10, and Puffy yelled at the top of his lungs, <laughs> Bring it home, Tiger! You got this, baby! But he did bring it home. 
Yeah, I mean, he did wink so at me, So, technically... Too. He did. He yeah. did what you're told. Uh, Vardy, are you ready to perform as the second, uh, or the third the third contestant in Augusta Idol? If you've been paying attention, I've been playing the whole time, so... Oh, but just give us a little something. Just give us a little something. This is uh, Ryan Vardy. We call him the Vardy Party. You don't have to it's sing. It's a Vardy Party. You can just play. It can be acoustic. I'm not yeah. singing at all. Okay, well, I'll sing for you. Just play. See if you can, oh, it's name that tune, right? Yeah, because I will sing to the name tune. You know, I, you know I only know one song. <laughs> okay, this is Ryan Vardy from Calgary, Alberta, everyone. You should get the words out. What was the first words? I think I got it's Bob Cage, and I think. I Bob think I got singer. it. Turn the page. We Kings? Turn the page. Drop a singer. I'm Slim Shady, yes, I'm the real Shady. Yes, I'm Slim Shady. Slim Shady? Slim Shady? Turn the page, Bob Seger. Turn the page. Oh, so, again, so so maybe try to play something from the last 40 years next time there, Bertie. <laughs> Man, I, I, uh, sorry, I missed once that. Once I learn my fifth chord, I'll come back to you. <laughs> I thought it was Eminem. I was Ryan Vardy and turn the page. Excellent, though. Excellent. Uh, what other segments can we do? Because we were a little light on the preparation for this. What you saw on Twitter? What are you both things you saw oh, on Twitter? Things that I saw on Twitter. Do you have to put a lot of pressure on you guys? Did you hear that right. on oh, no, Bobby. Let's do the whole thing. Freaky pigs, pigs strange, strange chicks, chicks, polar wor- bears, world affairs, strange polar bears? chairs, <laughs> strange chairs. Did you see a lot Jack, of polar bears Jack on Twitter? Jack dudes, big Jack big dudes, boobs, Jack dudes. dudes. All of these things and more as I sat on the shitter. Things that I saw on Twitter. Has anybody been on Twitter today to see it? I was on Twitter a lot. I have not seen anything on Twitter. Okay. What you watch it? <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That's always a good one. Rubber We're all boots watching reacts. Something. Yeah, oh, rubber, rubber boots, boots react. Reacts. So we'll react yeah. to the news uh, that that's the Tiger <laughs> <made a> <laughs> playing <laughs> Augusta. We did that already. Oh, no, uh, you did that. Oh, did you want to comment on Tiger's good. participating? Good. Tiger played <laughs> this year. It's such an inspiration. I have no words. No words. And. He's such a he's such a fighter because he almost lost his leg. Yeah, and right. now he is here just entertaining us. And I can't be more proud to be a golf fan. For fifty thousand dollars a year. Scene. Oh Would wait a second, you? wait a second. Puffy's hypothetical. Oh, yes. I'm messing with my mind. No, we should do Puffy's hypotheticals. What's it gonna be this time? Puffy's hypotheticals <laughs> are blowing <laughs> my mind. Okay. <laughs> For fifty thousand dollars. Edit point. <laughs> <laughs> I want you you to apologize (laughs) to Stoff. I I would like to apologize to Stoff. To Bump? And Bump and to Tiger Woods. For what I said. No one will ever know. It's inappropriate. So we're a little late right now on content. Um, What else can we do? How about the thing that we talked about, uh, the the family guy? Uh, thing about how many fourth graders that we could you would, would Fight. dig it down. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, what, about, what, okay. about, what about what you would do to play Augusta? Oh yeah, that's also great. a good right? one. That's a great one. Okay, so uh, we, Weeksy, here. go get the. Uh, yeah, let me get the survey. We're gonna have some actual content here. Uh, yeah. Bob Weeks uh, found a survey on Twitter. Maybe was it on Twitter? I think, Bob, uh, can you honestly, say you found it on Twitter? It was emailed to me. Oh, <laughs> things that I saw on, on Weeksy's email. email. There was a survey done asking uh, professional golfers. No, asking just regular oh, golfers. Asking regular yeah, golfers. So your everyday Joes like Puffy and and Bump and Cobra and Woody. Oh, Jesus. Down goes Frazier. There goes the rental. Oh, no. Uh, we rented a couple of guitars this for the week, and uh, this one appears to have been damaged. So uh, there was a, a survey done. I'm just This is called filler right now. This is what I do on Trade Center while Bob tries to find his stupid email that he said he had handy. Uh, there was a survey done asking regular golfers what they would do to play Augusta National or to play in the Masters? Play Augusta National. To play Augusta National one time. What would they give up in their life 
for one opportunity to play Augusta National, which I had the privilege to do uh, six years ago, uh, bump and, and puff maybe eight years ago, and Bob Weeks, I believe, seven years ago, played Augusta National on the Monday following the Masters. Jesus, Bob, can you find this stupid email? Hang on, hang on. Did you one shot? One opportunity. To play Augusta. Would you grab it? Or would you let it slip away? Or would you let it slip away? What would you do? Arms are sweaty. There you go. There's vomit on sweater already. already. Nicole Bob, Spaghetti. <laughs> Nicole Spaghetti. But on oh, the surface, he looks calm and ready to hit bombs. But he keeps on forgetting how to swing loud. He don't want to go so loud. He opens his mouth, but the word four comes out. That was brilliant. That is pure brilliant. I'm out. Thanks for the pot, everyone. Secret that was, uh, for a minute. Bump had been... Uh, uh, that, saving up for his podcast was appearance for about five like, or six yeah, years. Like crazy, but that was unbelievable. I thought you said you were out. No, I'm back. <laughs> okay, let's let's let Bob do this segment. So, what would people be willing to give up to play Augusta National? Well, half of them said they would shave their heads. It's not a big deal. I'd shave my head. I would do that. Thirty-six yeah, percent would give up drinking for a nice. year. No. Bump. Yeah. Bump. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, just... 21% said they would give it up for three years for one round at Augusta National. I would do that. To watch what? North 17% they would get a visible tattoo to play Augusta National. I almost got one last night, apparently, when I was napping on the couch. Point, point 0.8% said after they finished the round, they would be willing to lose a finger. How many said that? And point 0.8, so less than 1%. That was Ronnie Law who said that. <laughs> and 3% said they would Where? miss the birth Where of their child. Three percent said they missed miss the birth of their child. That would be oh, a play Augusta what? National, and nine percent said that. they would give up sex for a year. That. Whoa, 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 whoa! We buried the lead here. What was that? Nine percent said they would give up sex for a year to play Augusta National. Nine percent. That's a yeah. Lot. That's called marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hello. That nine percent isn't having sex anyway. So this could oh. be the worst part. Said two percent would said they would put their kids up for adoption. That's but it also says they were kidding. <laughs> when uh, when uh, when Tanya Cameron was told about the survey and said nine percent would give up sex for a year, she said, "Let him play Augusta." <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of a horn dog, isn't he? I love that. That's the best thing ever. Hey, this is too bad. This is on YouTube. Hey, hey you were. It feels like I heard it. Hey, you weren't there for the birth. Of too course, close yeah. to home. You know what, James? Doesn't say doesn't say necessarily give up sex with your wife. Oh, come on. What would you guys, seriously, what would you give up? Let's ask, let's do a legitimate ask you. What would, uh, what would you give up to, uh, to play Augusta National? Mark, you've never played it before. What are the options again? Well, no, you can make anything. I'm just, make your own, make your own. Would you, would you give up drinking? Would you give up drinking? I don't drink much, so. You don't drink much, that's a good point. Uh, Would you you give up junk food? Junk food. Three years. Junk, oh, yeah, yeah, junk yeah. food yeah. for three yeah, years. No chips, years. no bars, candies, no, no chocolate bars, uh, no Coca Cola. What about Starburst? <laughs> <laughs> I no Starburst. <laughs> no Starburst. No Starburst. No sour Skittles. Oh Jesus. No big feet. What about those um, those moon pies that we had there? Sure. No, yeah. no, those. You can't. I would do those. it. I would do it. Yeah, I would do. I would give up junk food for you for for wow. th- three years. Three. Jesus. Cobra, do you love golf? No. Vardy? Yeah. You love golf? Yeah. What would you give up? What is it? What is your this vice? <laughs> you, would, you would give up working the this Masters game. to actually play Perfect. the Masters? I've been trying to replace you for years. This is how it's all working out. So you would give yeah. up working this to No, of course not. Play. There's no way you would. No, because it's... Now, Jamie, I posed this to you earlier today. Shh. Yes. Would you give up... What? Yes. We gotta start again. Yay. No, right from the top. Right from the top. Right from the top. Stop used to work on the pod. I thought I was locked out. I came to the front door and I thought I was locked out. Oh, wow. Glad what? to be here. Vardy, what the f is your problem? It's another V. That was my first, though. It was about your 12. I have poured my heart <laughs> and soul See, into this pod. GD's G-G laughing because it's the first time he's heard the bit. He's been doing this bit 27 times. 
Uh, Graham Dillette, uh, one of Canada's best ever golfers, who's uh, with us again this week. Oh, we but, live? But bailed. Yeah, yeah we're, we're live. live. We're live. Okay. We're streaming on Twitch. <laughs> We're streaming on a hitch. Yeah. Uh, uh, Graham went to uh, a a, a different podcast tonight. He <laughs> dissed us actual tonight. Listeners, yes. With uh, who was he with? Colton Nose. We actually had some technical difficulties. Oh, oh, what well, happened? Well, Big time. Uh, pretty much the. <laughs> We Maybe couldn't. Everyone <laughs> couldn't hear what we were saying. Maybe I should have come. So like, and, the and they, worst possible. Scenario. And did they come like a, a live crowd to watch you guys? Like yes. their followers yeah. of the podcast. No, it was bad we should do that next year at Augusta. Have our That's listeners a great idea. Yes. come down. At Snake, Snake bites Pete. Yeah. Andrew Arsenal, Ricky Schmidt. They're all gonna fly in. Flying down Augusta, and they're gonna listen. Irving Ho. Irving Ho. Who are those people? I'll mention different people every episode. Yes. Hey, James. Nice sweats, man. Thank you, buddy. Those these are, are Lou. Lou these are Lou. 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 Yeah. Lou. 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 You actually admit those are Lou. Lou. Are you making fun of me though? Like, are Lulu lemon sweats not cool for a guy I'm to wear? I'm making fun of you. I you want to know because you're very. Do you know Huh? That's like the new one. Now. What is it? Viore. Viore. Viora. Viore. That's the new sweats that everybody it's like, wears. It's like the new Lulu. What do the guys wear on tour? Give us like a fashion thing. Well, this is like what the cool kids on tour. I can't wear Well, you kind of almost have to wear what you have to wear. For the most part, although you know what I'm the, right. the guy, oh, the, the I don't brands. know his first name, he, Young was wearing a hoodie today. Cameron Young. My favorite so clothing is that. Puma. Puma. That's yeah. your GD sponsor. You're yeah. <laughs> if I had a choice, <laughs> that's what it'd be. Yeah, I, I agree. Puma. They do, do they give you casual clothes too? Yeah. Does Puma yeah, make no. it? Like, is and that a Puma do. shirt you're wearing right this now? This is a Puma hoodie. Oh, super stretchy and nice. Does Puma make jeans? It is unbelievable uh, no, how comfortable jeans, Puma clothing is. All my shoes are. Yeah, for is sure. Is there anything nice that shoes. we can get, like, still from your suitcase? Hey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm going to hook you up tonight. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah. oh. oh With all the Puma go. clothing. Is anybody a schmedium around here? I am. I'm <laughs> an extra medium. Oh, well, I, extra medium. I am a medium except on the air at the Masters where small. I wear youth, youth small. <laughs> yeah. Shows his guns. Just so I look. Well, it's hard being next to a jack guy like Dillette and Weeks, and a fit guy like I'm not. You know, he Weeks, does. he's not Jack, but he's in mint condition. Call him fit. He's fit. fit. He's he's very fit. Smelt. He's smelt yeah, he's got the runner's runner's James, rip body. Don't sell yourself short. <laughs> oh God, what's Please going on me. here? It's, it's, I just, it's, I just, it's, 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 it's unbelievable how good I'm doing on this podcast. It's unbelievable. It's, 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 he it? developed Dude, a char- right? He's developed a character which was like an emotional, yeah. sympathetic Is character. This audio right. only. Yeah. yeah, today it's audio. Only. <laughs> what do you see us filming anywhere? Are you, what you got? We got you know, cameras in here. If Is anything, it? you're. Pants should be on. Those are nice pants. Yeah. Nice I pants. do. Oh, I think he's I making know, fun absolutely. of me. No, uh, GD, we should probably, we've like really, uh, we're probably 40 minutes into this thing yet, and we really have given our audience literally nothing, nothing, yeah. nothing, yeah. nothing yeah. usable. Like so maybe, can GD, hitting me. I have been so real. Okay. Can GD. Baby GD, can we give uh, us... You know what? Can he sing a song? Does he want to be part of Augusta? Dupuis? No, he probably doesn't want to do that. Augusta Idol? We're all, we're all some, some yeah, song. we had a little talent Great contest. Us. Great, okay. ladies and gentlemen. This is, is history. This is Graham Dillette's long professional golfing career. Cool. He's done a lot of amazing things, but no one has ever heard him perform live The Gambler. Okay. And this is what we're bringing to you today. We're we see, we see I, might know, I might need yeah. some words okay, well, at, give, some give that, give at some point in time. At some point in time. Do you have like a karaoke yeah, uh, yeah, a thing to show me? One, two, three. So On a summer's eve. Train bound for nowhere. Nice. Met up with a gambler. We were both too tired to drink. That's not the right one. That's not the right one. He got the that right is one. terrible. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. That was not Graham. It was too fast, one. man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Slow it down. Slow the down. Train man with no way. Train man with no way. Do we got it now? That's a little better. Is that the right? I don't know. First time I ever did this. First time I ever did this karaoke. Nova Scotia. 19 years old. Bell Bay. Canadian amateur. And I did take my shirt off. And did you meet Nice. Whoa, with a Canadian man. One, two, three, four. (laughs) On a warm summer's evening. On a warm summer's evening. 
train bound for nowhere Met up with a gambler We were both too tired to sleep Yes, we were And we took turns playing At the window in the darkness Window overtook us And he began to speak Oh my God, it sounds way better in my head Fast forward. You want to play the game, boy. You got to learn to play it right. Now take it back to know when to hold up. When to hold up. Know when to fold up. When to fold up. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting. What the deal is beautiful. Done. Beautiful performance. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful performance. I think we have our winner, Graham Delay from. Uh, I think we do. Yeah. Graham Delay. I think we should put it to a Twitter poll. I uh, have yeah. so many emotions. I wouldn't mind a reading. It is what it is. You got to go with the raw one. Uh, we should get like one minute of serious golf analysis yes. because I'm terrified that. People who love the Masters will like Google Masters podcasts, and it will come up dismissed. Masters whoa, whoa, Edition. Whoa, 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 and they hang on. You didn't ask me to analyze the Masters. I'm going to ask no, you right no. now. Oh, it is. Ask Graham. <laughs> no, 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 please <laughs> don't. No, no, don't don't do it anymore, please. <laughs> just, just give us. I got two words on the Masters. Okay. Tiger Woods. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, he already said that. Puffy already That's said that. Right. That wasn't great. Hey, hey, I got two more words. What? Phil Mickelson. Oh. <laughs> well, let's, you know what? Let's get into let's it. Let's get into it right oh here. Oh, my God. This is Lefty. Fun, this is a tour you, player. You what yourself, is your no. feeling on the whole lefty situation, GD? <laughs> I, you know, I, I wish he was here. What That's would you it. say? What would you say? I say I wish he was here. He's a two-time champ. Three. Three times. Oh, I thought you were going to say, I wish he was here because I'd give him a piece of my mind. <laughs> no. It's not as controversial. Well, I wish he was in this room right now. It'd be fun to have a cocktail with him. But Have you ever? Never. I've never had a cocktail with Phil. Right. Played golf with Phil. Did you? How did, was that? Did you, did you? Where did you play with him? I played with him at the Tour Championship. I played against him at the President's Cup a mm-hmm. couple times. Oh, did you beat him? Was that once, when you were with J.D.? I Day? played him with him. You were Day? I beat him once. Lost him once and tied him once. That's pretty good. One, one, and one against him, yeah. You were great. He was a great president. His record at the 2013 (laughs) President's Cup is good. Yeah, you were awesome at that one. Am I right, 2013 President's Cup? You're right. Is it? You're welcome, Canada. It's going to be hard. (laughs) Not that anybody really wants a President's Cup discussion on the eve of the Masters, but, man, it feels like it's going to get harder and harder for the internationals to beat that. No, they're going to do it. I don't dis- I, I disagree. disagree. I disagree All it takes well. is like, yeah, you get a couple superstars on the international team, we'll kick the shit out of them. But there's no what camaraderie. Like, Graham and Jason Day were awesome together. They were buddies in Australia and Canadian. Yeah. But, you, you know, you have these guys playing together. It's, it's, it's guys okay. are it's, okay. buddies in the future. Okay, hang on. So, Weeksy, you can back me up on this. Ernie Els has kind of changed the narrative. And I, I, I've never been in an international TV room. You, you haven't been on one before. I've That's never been on a TV surprises. room. <laughs> I was, what a I almost beat Phil. <laughs> in, Hold on, I did beat Phil in 2010. However, he had a seven on the, the fourth hole. I had a three. At, when when you played Augusta National? Yeah, so I, mean, I did four not shots. have a seven. I, you know, He's talking he about Phil. Seven. <laughs> Phil had a seven, I had a three. So I beat oh, right, I didn't have a seven on the third hole. Fourth hole. Fourth hole. Anyways, no, seriously, Ernie kind of brought these guys all together, the last one. Mm-hmm. And if you look at how the internationals are playing right now, Cam Smith, one of the players. Great player. There are guys playing very well. Abe we got, Answer is so Abe good. Answer is so Adam good. Adam He's so good. You have, yeah, you have the three, Canadians like, the you Canadians. were the only Canadian on that team. We could have two or three potential Canadians on the president. There's going to be two, year. most I, likely. I agree. I, and there I th- could be three. Right. So we have, we now have three Canadians inside the top 13 of the President's Cup rankings right now. That's the same amount as Australia, which was half the team. Okay, the, wait a second. You, I don't know why you're right. I love Canadian golfers. The, the US but you're putting is, these up against Scotty Scheffler, Justin Thomas, no, but the US Jordan Spieth. But I think the international team right now is really Dustin on form. Dustin Johnson, thank you. <laughs> I think the, the international team can win. I, I agree. I think like they're, they're, they're a lot... 
There's a lot of international Pretty guys harsh. playing very well. You, yes. Joaquin Fire. Neiman. I almost said, you know, Weeksy, joking Neiman. Joaquin Neiman. You got Louis still is strong. Yeah. Yeah. You got Cam Smith. Oh, Adam it? Scott's oh, still a player. Yeah. Whatever Canadians we, we have. It really feels like a long shot to me. I don't, I don't think I don't so. Really Do you? Only- GD? Yeah. <laughs> Just no <laughs> okay. This is what I'm saying. If the boys can come together, they can beat this American right. team. Oh, look at this. Should be the President's yeah. Cup captain does, but right does, here. But like chemistry. Does it matter in those kind of tournaments, or is it just it's, talent? Look at you coming together a, and asking actually, a question on your twelfth beer. <laughs> I think it's a fifty-fifty of both. Yeah, it is chemistry, and then it's, are like who's the best player? Yeah, the Americans are the best, but they don't beat the Ryder Cup or the Amer- or the Europeans in the Ryder Cup every yeah. year. No, and they're you know better than them. I think we yeah. need a lobbying effort to get uh, Graham Bellet as the uh, captain's assistant. I think he'd be yeah. amazing captain. Yeah, let's do no, it. But, like, like, he like, seriously, they, two thousand. 39. <laughs> <laughs> At Riverside <laughs> Country Club in Saskatoon. <laughs> that is the captain. Wascana. We're doing this. Wascana. Wascana's great they, too. Either or. It's going to be. We did fun. enough golf content. <laughs> Go back to your stupid, <laughs> sympathetic <laughs> character. Thank <laughs> you all. Coming down on the international team is so hurtful. I think we need to do the uh, Gold Bar League yeah, segment yeah, of the show. Man, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Well, you didn't participate in it. You, you're right. Is that yes, I uh, once again, I've, uh, I'm sorry for everything. I'm particularly sorry for the uh, uh, listeners who may have uh, found us for the first time on the uh, whatever, wherever you find your podcast app. And uh, we're looking for a, a thorough master's preview. Unfortunately, the Rubber Boots podcast uh, doesn't do that. We save that for the television program. And, and on this show, we just have a bunch of idiots. So, sorry about that. Um, trying to find Christoph's email right now because he, he, he had instructed me to do something on the uh, on the Gold Bar League. I love gold and so do you. Do, 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 do. Join the Gold Bar League and you can have some too. Do, 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 do. It's the Gold, the Gold Bar League. Come on and join the gold, the gold bar league. Uh, the gold bar league update this week. What a week! Uh, by the numbers, uh, the average this week was around three point one five out of six. Correct. Nice. The biggest upset: North Carolina. Seventy six of our uh, seventy six of the bars were wagered on Duke. Really? And North Carolina won. Sure, didn't hurt me that there were three perfect six for sixes in the entire Gold Bar League this wow. week. Uh, Jake's foreskin was six for six. <laughs> Silas, six for six. Nice. And somebody named Jimmy Jake Brooks, Duddy. a.k.a. Jimmy Duddy, six oh, for you were six. Not six for six. Six for no six. Chance. Perfection. Who'd you pick? Uh, in the March Platinum Playoff, uh, Playoff, play down, playoff, play down. Pharma Mag beat Will Murray eight to six. So Pharma Mag, congratulations, has qualified for the Platinum League. Congratulations, Pharma Mag. Uh, in the prophylactic conference, Will Murray leads with twenty three so far. Nice. Pharma Mag and Max Gattafoni tied at twenty two, one behind Ho, Ho right there. In the mix. He's just two back. Gold McDonald, Han Solo, Silas, all there in eight. Eight members of the league tied at 19 bars. In the talent division, mm-hmm. Aaron Karolnik, who I, I slag a lot, but he is very good at he this. He is very good at the game. Yeah, also a, a fairly handsome man. Uh, a giving and attentive lover is how he's described by most. Oh. Um, he's, got, <laughs> he's got 19 for first. Stoff is second with 17, nice. tied with Jake Brooks. Jake Brooks. Uh, and Lester is down at 11 because I think he forgot once again. <laughs> How do you forget about the gold bar league? Lester's very busy with his gigs yeah, right now. Is this why he's been taken off the pod? He was not. He was just, you guys wrote a song about it just to, to bug him because he well, wasn't here this week. No, no, we'll never kick Lester off the pod. Lester no, McLean no, is the, a musical genius I and the love, conscious conscious of the podcast. I love him. And a handsome man. I love him. Okay. He's the emotion of the Oh. <laughs> Get it together. Get no, it together. Pull it together. I'm gonna. No one can see. He's the emotional spark plug. 
of the pod. He is. Yes. It's well said. He's actually crying, man. And in the uh, first up division, Puffy, who forgot to put his picks in this week. I tried to put my picks in. Is somehow still first. By a lot. Because <laughs> Carlo is at 12. Uh, Carlo Week sucks. C, did you forget your picks again this week? Week C's at 11, and uh, Matt Cause is at 6. How, I don't think how not, could you be at 6 I after can, 5 weeks? I can basically not put another pick in. I'm going to win that division. Yeah, how many weeks are we at? Like five? We've Four had like or 30 or 36 yeah. total games, and Matt Cause yeah. well, has 6 points. Yeah. And he's the guy who does the gambling show on TSN right Here's the big announcement, which I should have teased at the beginning, but I saved it. Uh, yeah. I may have mentioned somewhere along the way. I hope I did. Our friends at TaylorMade. Yeah. I think I mentioned them off There's, the top. Yes. There's. Nick and the crew are just... Last exactly year, uh, the winner of the Rubber Boots podcast... Was it Andrew? Arsenal yes. who won? Uh, was it? I think it was. <laughs> I'm probably forgetting because I get some... No, Andrew was very good if he didn't just win. Just dumb it in. Fantastic gentleman. A gentleman dumb and a scholar. <laughs> and an attentive lover. <laughs> and also known as an attentive lover. Hang on, hang on. You can't have more than one attentive lover. Well, there's several attentive lovers. Aaron Karolnik, most, you're an attentive I, I lover. I will say this. Most people there's that listen to our... This other guy I don't know, he is not attentive. Most people that listen to our podcast mm-hmm. are giving an attentive lover. There's Truth. no way. Truth. Um, Truth. We gave away a potpourri of stuff that I found in my house. Yes. Potpourri. Uh, this year, thanks... Real me, prizes. Real prizes, including... This is exciting. Nick from TaylorMade. A brand new stealth that driver. A brand new stealth driver. It's amazing. Uh, will go to the winner of the, I guess, the Platinum League of the Rubber Boots podcast. Stoff can figure out the details yeah, next week. Out who wins it. So uh, that's a lot of incentive. 1999 Masters credentials. Yes, my 1999 Perfect. Masters credentials. I never, now, I wasn't here in 1999. Do I? Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> can I be eligible you, for the driver? No, you can't get the driver. Oh. Weeksy, do you have the stealth? I do. Uh, we see I have the stealth. It's fantastic. And uh, we'll get... Uh, we're going to have some other stuff from TaylorMade, too. To some, some golf balls and everything out to like, you. Will the parts. first up division get a winner get a prize? TaylorMade. Will the first yeah. up division winner get a prize? Oh, we're working on that. Okay. Uh, anyway, so that's the Gold Bar League. Uh, we thank you all so much for listening to this edition, yeah. this edition of the Rubber Boots uh, Podcast Masters. It's, I, did it live up to the... You know the hype. You actually kept it together pretty well. You had some weak moments early where I was concerned about you, but you you were professional. So Ken Volden, Stu Johnson, Puffy, very professional. Bump on the other hand. I just want to thank everybody. I've missed you, fans, and I've missed this pot and being on it. And I just thank you, James. You're a good friend. Thank you. Uh, Mark uh, Ward, do you want to play us out with something, maybe? What do you want to hear? What do you want to well, we never really got to hear you. Just give us something good. Black, black. From the beginning. Pro- 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 oh, you know, we really didn't talk about Bumble too much. Oh, we should talk about Bumble. Should we talk about Bumble? <laughs> Mark Ward is single. Yes, and has, been, single has been frequenting the Bumble app yes. for Augusta. Just for you guys, for entertainment. Yeah. And I just wanted, just before we leave, we want to dedicate the song to Atlanta Amy. <laughs> also, Ooh. Robot from the Augusta National. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> many, te- yeah. many, many technologies. We did meet. Can we, should, we read the, uh, should we read the text? From you know, the, I the... Wanna, uh, we also should say hi to our friend Jimmy, who, a good friend of ours who went to doctor school. Doctor school. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what happened with that? Early doctor what, I, what happened with that? One of your, one of your friends went to, to doctor school. Yeah. yeah, I said that. When did I say that? What context was that? Last night. We were talking about, talking about, about parties, about bad school. parties. Oh, and I, instead of medical school, I said doctor school, and you yeah. thought that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> I like to just simplify everything. Yeah. I really got right. it. You dumbed it down for us. Yeah. Uh, so this is for Atlanta Amy, who we... Atlanta uh, Amy. Mark swiped right on last night, and we're still waiting to see if Program there's... Black, I really got There's been some conversation. Yellow. Uh, to all our listeners we're and on, we're on text now. And, and Atlanta Amy, uh, thanks for listening to this Atlanta edition Amy, of the Rubber Boots Podcast special. brought to you by BetSafe.net. Buffy, do you want to say something to Atlanta Amy on the way out? I think we got something going on. No, it's Mark. Oh, sorry. Can I say something? Can I say something? I think you and Mark have something going on, but if it doesn't work out, give me a call. <laughs> you are married to Talia. Oh, yeah. Atlanta Amy. Mark. I'm sorry, it can't happen is so enamored with you and it's been so powerful this whole interaction so I love you, Amy. Amy. 
please give him a chance. We're He's a great soul. We're celebrating our 12 hour in anniversary. <laughs> oh, Alright, sing something good. So amazing. This is a song for Bump. Yes. He loves the song. A little Pearl Jam. Shades of empty canvas on the cheap thing. Don't call me Donna. Is this Jeremy spoken? It's Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll see you next time, if there is a next time, on the Rubber Boots Podcast. Brought to you by BetSafe.net and our friends at TaylorMade. I promise, I promised Stav there would be usable material this year on the pod. Hold on. I have poured my heart into this pod. And I've been good stuff, okay? Yes, he's good early. What does love make? What does love make to I want to be Mark from Mark and Mindy. He's Judge, he's Judge Judy. Judy. I'm going to be Judge Judy. I don't want to be a cowboy. I don't want to be a pirate. I don't want to be a pirate. There's definitely another point there. There's definitely another point just, there. Just, just cut that why, out, why, stuff. Why am I headed point? All right. Stuff, that old stuff go. can all go. Everything. <laughs> The next time you ask me to be on, just realize I haven't ruined any segment. I'm so sorry, Stoff. No, but this is a legitimate question. A good Tuesday. How are you? I got a question that I really want to ask you. So I'm gonna try and push my love Are you wearing your rubber boots tonight? Are they purple, yellow, green, or black or white? Are you wearing your rubber boots tonight? Do you like the dunk tank at the fair? Are you wearing your rubber boots tonight?